Welcome to Instruments of Destruction. I have a batch of amazing creations to show you guys, starting with the Cube Mark II by Darky Sword. Now, apparently this cube has nine hidden functionalities, all of which I have not tested yet. And look at the, the controls down there. That is a lot of controls. So I have no idea what to expect with this thing. I'm going to be seeing it for the first time right now, just like you guys are. So let's see if we can figure out what happens. Let's go with number one. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay, okay, hold on. I see what's going on here. Let me do a quick reset. Now when I press number one, there we are. And then I think W and S, <laughs> it walks now. Oh no, what happened? What happened to your legs? All right, so then I press number one on the numpad. Oh, then it brings them back. So it's not the best walker. <laughs> But it tries. It, it's a, Oh, it's actually doing much better this time. Okay, and then we broke our leg. Someone skipped leg day. This cube apparently skipped leg day. All right, let's reset and move on to number two. What is number two gonna do? Okay, those... Those are aiming uh, lasers. Those aren't actual destruction lasers, so I don't know what's gonna go on next. I'm going number, number three. Whoa. Oh! The, aim the aiming lasers were not accurate. <laughs> Where are you going? Okay, let's go on number number four. <gasps> what just happened? Oh, that's cool. That is cool. We've got a whole fireworks show out here. Look at all those cannons. I love how it just shotguns them all in different directions. One, all right, building already collapsed. That is so cool. Oh, one landed on top of that building, went inside, and then exploded from the inside. All right, we've uh, completely destroyed two buildings and completely destroyed three buildings. That was satisfying. All right, for the sake of la lag, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, reset here. All right, so number two, I think, was the lasers. Let's just keep those out because they kind of look cool. Uh, so I think I'm moving on to number five, right? Oh, no. Oh, what? They're attached by rope. That's a pretty unique weapon. I want to try that again. I feel like it didn't... <laughs> Look at this one. I feel like they didn't really get the most out of them. That's such a cool idea, though. Attaching them by ropes. All right, let me try that one again, just by itself. All right. There we go. One of them went right through the bottom of a building there. Uh, I don't know what these ones are going to do. That one collapsed that building. All right. Looks like that's all we got out of those ones. All right, let's move on to number six. Let's see what number six is going to do now. Oh, what's happening in the front? Oh, okay. I can't aim myself, unfortunately. So wherever I'm facing, that's just where I got to... That's just where I am. All right, so number six is apparently a whole wall of just regular cannons. Look at that. Okay, number seven. Okay, number seven, I need to reset the buildings for this. All right, let me do number six first though. There we go. All right, and then number seven. There we go. All right, and then number eight. What is happening? Wait, what is happening? What is number eight? Number eight appears to, so these are um, vacuum turbines. These are the gravity uh, vortexes, and then these are drills. Oh, here we go. They're on now. All right, you can see some of it working here with this piece of debris. All right, let's go to number nine. Last number here. Oh, no way. There's a deployable little drill car in there or something. Can I drive that with, oh, probably the arrow keys. Oh, look at that. Oh, I think I was supposed to back out. My bad. I'm stuck now. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Ready? Number one. There we go. Now the cube might fall over, but at least we got little drill guy. <laughs> Slices through just like butter. Wait, where is he? Is he stuck inside? Oh, no. Have I tipped over? All right, I've managed to tip it over inside the building. That's unfortunate. This building needs to come down now, and I think I might be able to do it with uh, number four. Oh, oh no, I didn't think about this. Why are they all going there? They're tipping me over. All right, let me turn these off. 
Did I just turn them off, I think? Number four again? There we go. Oh, wait a minute. How? I think I've managed to somehow pull the... This is such chaos. I think I've managed to somehow pull the drill thing out of there with my, uh, with my vortexes or something. I don't know what's going on right now. But we've managed to get the cube back in working order and buildings are just collapsing now. So how much of that functionality did you guys predict to come out of this thing? I mean, I knew there was gonna be some destruction in here, of course, but I, I didn't really expect how it was going to happen. Let's move on to some other awesome creations. Okay, up next, I have Earthquake Destroyer by Jupiter. I don't know what this thing really is, but it looked weird and it says Earthquake Destroyer. So what does that mean? What is this? What is this? No, I don't understand what this is. I've never seen anything like this in this game. All right, let me do that. I'm, I'm gonna do that again. What do the arrows do? Oh, I can insert them into the ground. Like that's gonna make a difference. All right, let's try it again. Oh, that's interesting. If I insert them into the ground, they don't do anything. All right, what if I pull it back up? That is so weird. Look at the dust. It picks up dust everywhere. I'm gonna do this in super slow motion. We're going down to 10% speed. You ready for this? All right, three, two, one, go. It literally disappears the buildings. Like they don't even destroy, they, they, they disappear. Except these ones over here, somehow they turn to rubble. Uh, let's go into build mode. I there has to be like hundreds of lasers in here. Let me let me go ahead and click on this laser and then delete it. What? What? Click on this one. Oh, this is strength 300. How how do you get a laser up to strength 300? As far as I know, like look, I can go from point one up to three. There must be some type of like file editing or something for this thing. That, I have no idea how that works. But I guess that's what happens when um, you make a laser a hundred times more powerful than its maximum default power. Okay, well, up next, uh, we've got this thing. This is called Siege Engine Mark II by Stranger. It has lots of controls. Oh, look at that walking. That's pretty smooth. We've got some nice looks like we got some nice oh the suspension is up inside these things i think yeah look at the way it compresses that's cool uh w does not go forward i think this is using yeah this is using a different type of keyboard uh z goes forward and s goes backwards all right that's gonna this is gonna be pretty un unintuitive for me to control because of the different type of keyboard layout but i'm gonna try my best to just press the buttons all right q is turning to the left okay a is I did not mean to shoot that building, but A is to shoot. Uh, E? Oh boy, those buildings got lucky. Let me, how do not, I don't know how to undo my turning here. I thought it was gonna be, oh, okay, that's also not it. Maybe X? Nope, X is something else down there. Oh, maybe, okay, D, oh, whoops. I figured out how to turn to the right. All right, it's Q to the left, D to the right. All right, those buildings are gone now. Here, I'll just do a little bit more damage with my lasers as that one goes down. All right, now let's press some buttons. Number one. Ooh. Okay, let's aim to the left. Oh wait, that's actually aiming my back end to the right. That's fine. Number two. Oh, right into my front. Number four. Oh, I was trying to do the one on the right side. Number four. There we go. Oh, right into the center. Gotta love that. All right, number five. Oh, there's... There's one underneath? All right, I gotta turn more to the left. All right, now I think my under rocket might be working now. I think that's number six. Oh, just narrowly missed. R is to shoot a cannon. That's pretty effective. G. All right, G to, appears to be some type of uh, gravity. Oh, it's the magnet. It's a magnet up there. All right, F is also the magnet, which actually enhances the power of the cannons by a great deal. Now Y. Oh, aiming laser. H is to turn it off, and then, oh, of course. Oh, ooh, ooh, that's fancy. Oh yeah, look at that. 
This is awesome being able to aim the cannons. Oh, whoops. The magnet. <laughs> the magnet affects those things. How do I turn off the magnet? There we go. Oh, whoa. 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 Oh, that looks so cool. That looks really cool. The magnet absorbs the blast of these bombs. That's such a cool effect. Such a cool visual. All right, let's just turn the magnet off though. There we go, now they're normal. Perfect. See, this is cool. This is a really nice walker as well. I haven't seen many very functional walkers in this game. This one functions pretty well. I especially like the suspension on the legs there. All right, let's move on to another creation. We got we got a good batch so far. Okay, and up next, we have a carnival ride themed creation. Ever, er, er, something monster ride by Zombie Ninja. Irely or Everly? So I don't think this is actually for destruction. I think this is actually just for fun. So let's see how it, let's see how it functions. Just a couple of buttons here. J, all right. Uh, and then K, whoa. Oh, oh, hold on a second here. This is actually more interesting than I even expected. The way that these things are lifting up and down is determined by the rotation of this right here. This sets this whole top point off axis from the center point, which essentially uh, contracts these ropes to pull these arms up as it gets further away from this side and then it lets them down as it comes over closer to this side that's actually some that's a really cool mechanism i'm assuming this is modeled after how the real thing functions but i've never seen that before so that's pretty cool gotta love some carnival engineering oh no what's happening now what i don't know what that was i don't think that's part of the ride <laughs> but you gotta love some good carnival engineering all right this is will it blend by chunk boy and uh <laughs> It, it's the age old question of will it blend? So I'm assuming I got to drive up to a building. Oh, it actually has a description here. Um, L and R arrows for blades. All right, cool. Up and down arrows for gravity. E and Q for magnetic separation. Okay. Well, here, let's go up to a building. Activate the blades. G for anchors, perfect. All right, let's turn on the gravity. And I guess the blades are supposed to blend up the building as it gets sucked into it. Here we go. Magnetic separation though. Let me wait until I get most of whatever is coming to me. I'm assuming this whole building is gonna collapse at some point pretty soon, I hope. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna press E. All right, now I'm gonna press Q. Oh, whoa, that's interesting. So now the magnet is repelling metallic pieces, whereas the vortex is taking in the non-metallic pieces. So that's why we're seeing the metal kind of floating around. The metal's kind of floating around on the outskirts here, whereas the concrete is just in the middle here. Now, presumably if I press um, E and down, that should reverse. So the metal should come towards me and then the rest should repel. Oh, nope. The repelling is overriding the magnets themselves. So the vortex is more powerful than the magnets, which makes sense. But you can see these ones when I turn the vortex off. Now the metal comes towards me. Just like that. You know, the blending, the blending part of it isn't that impressive, but I like the, uh, the magnet and vortex interplay is actually pretty interesting. All right, and then I can go ahead and repel the mag- or turn the magnet off and repel, and there goes the metal. Oh, look at that! Look at the pieces stuck in the, uh, the blades. That's interesting, they got caught. We literally caught debris. All right, well, that was a fun physics experiment. Let's move on to another one. Okay, up next, we have Rocket Propelled Catapult by Red Cassette. All right, I read the description. This is actually supposed to be a reloadable catapult. So apparently we can lock the catapult into position with F. Now he's gonna figure out how to load it. Oh, there we go. Release. Oh, come on. Just get, get in the bucket. There we go. Okay, so now E to fire, I think. And then when we release, it should throw it. Oh. I don't know if I 
did that right. Oh, I think I was supposed to move the magnet out of the way. Yeah, I was probably supposed to move the magnet out of the way. All right, let's try this again. Lift up the ball, let it go. That's so cool. That is such a cool method. Move that out of the way now. Release with F. And there you go. It's a bit of a catapult. Oh no, activate the magnet again. Uh, it's too far away. All right, I think I gotta be closer to the building. So let's get closer to this building right here. Release the catapult. There we go. Not the most destructive, but now let this fall back down. Catch it. Just like that. Activate the magnet again. There we go. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. I feel like this magnet needs to be just a little bit more powerful. Oh, there's controls I didn't even realize, actually. I can do that. Because I can actually... Oh, look at that. I can move the magnet forward and back. Perfect. And then I just got to release it. Oh, no. Release it back into the bucket. And we've reloaded. The first time I've seen a reloadable catapult. Let's go ahead and give it another throw. There we go. It's consistent. It went right in the hole that I had already made. Oh, the magnet's not strong enough. We need an overdrive on this magnet. Oh, well, looks like we lost our payload. We won't be able to reload this time, which gives us an excuse to move on to another creation. Okay, up next, we have Magnitude 10 by Aqua S Corp. I don't know what it means, but Magnitude 10 sounds pretty strong to me. I love the... Sh Whoa, that's a lot of magnets. There's a lot of magnets in the front. There's something going on in the back here. Whoa, what? That looks so cool. So we got lasers firing upon this thing. I don't know. Is this just for aesthetics? All right, well, let's keep it on and uh, let's see what happens. I don't understand. Oh, here we go. Here we go. There we go. Yeah, so I think in theory, this is just a whole bunch of magnets on the front of this thing. But the aesthetic design choices of how it created this is actually really awesome. I love this, uh, this front head here is so cool. And then this, even though I think it's practically pointless, it gives just that awesome aesthetic of like, clearly this is powering the thing, even though it doesn't actually do anything, uh, practically speaking. Sometimes you just gotta appreciate a good design. Oh, oh, that looks pretty cool, actually. All right, up next, we have the TRE MR MRR Chet by Lady LaRonda. I think this is some type of trebuchet. Oh, no way. This thing totally reloads. There we go. And now I can close that, trap it in there. Oh, this is so cool. And then I can bring one of these over. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, so I bring that to there. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Take me a while to figure out these controls. All right, angle that up. Oh, wait, they're not going in though. Come on, there we go. Good enough, right? Okay, now I gotta figure out how to get these out of the way. Here we are. That's so cool. These hoppers are a really unique method of reloading. So then I think I press Q to unlock and then gravity should take over. And we got a launch. Not not the not the farthest launch. What's up in here? Are those just oh that's just suspension when this thing comes back. Okay. Oh wait, I heard some damage. <laughs> We've barely rolled those things in there. Alright, that is probably one of the more convoluted I mean, reloading anything in this game is actually impressive, and it's it's hard not to do it in a convoluted way since you can't automate a sequences of programs. You have to have everything just manually controlled each step along the way. But the hopper system is really unique, and so was the uh, magnet system that we saw in the last one. Okay, up next we have Mr. Boom, uh by created by Paper Machine. This appears to be another walker. Let's see how well it, oh no, what's happening? Uh, the arms are in the way, how do we? Oh, there we go. Get that arm out of the, oh no, it's so floppy. <laughs> yeah, I know from personal experience that having heavy objects on swivels and stuff, they're very floaty, they swivel a lot. They don't lock into place very strong. Uh, but looks like this is how we walk. This is so bouncy. Oh no, don't fall over. Please don't fall over. All right, let's just let's just settle down now. E is for hand cannons. There we go. Let's aim them at something. Yeah. All right. Well, there's one building down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did I just accidentally explode something? I think I somehow all of my bombs just exploded. Let's reset. 
Yeah, these bombs exploded. I don't know what caused that. Arms up. Arms up, please. There we are. All right, apparently R is for chainsaws. Oh, it actually thrust the chainsaws in and out. Uh, I'm not close enough to a building to use those yet, though. All right, G is for lasers. Ooh. Gotta love some spinning lasers as well. All right, there goes a couple of buildings. Let's uh, turn those lasers off. Whoops. I didn't mean I was trying to turn the lasers off and I accidentally fired the missiles. Oh, that turned out in our favor. Q is shoulder cannons. Oh, that's the shoulder cannons right around the buildings. There we go. Oh. Well, that's satisfying. The only thing I haven't tried yet uh, is the chainsaws. So let's go ahead and turn the chainsaws on with R and try to approach a building. I don't know if I'm gonna make it to a building, to be honest. I don't even know if the chainsaw part is really even that necessary. Pretty sure just swinging these massive arms into the buildings is enough to do it. Yeah, look at that. Yes, Oh, That was epic, watching the arm just sweep through the building as it collapsed. That was a good, that was a good way to finish off this creation. But we got a couple more to look at. Actually, I think only one more to look at. Okay, this is the C71 Dragonosuke by Shade Viper, I think. If I, I just barely saw the name there. Um, so this thing, this looks like the Batmobile. This looks like a futuristic Batmobile and the Batmobile is already futuristic. This looks like Armageddon Batmobile something or other. Oh, look at the chains. They're just there for design and they're an awesome design element. It makes it so dark, so much more intimidating. Oh, I haven't even pressed any of the actual buttons yet other than just driving this thing around. I am so looking forward to what else this does. Oh, we got drills and saws in here. There we go. I could just eat it up. I could just eat the building. Oh, this is, this looks so nice. Look at this. Oh, the close up. See, this right here, this takes so much. This takes so much more time and attention to detail when it comes to designing something like this, putting everything on different angles. Number one. Oh, of course. He's, he's why not put lasers on everything? You might as well. All right, and then of course, we've got some vortexes in here. Oh boy. And that actually gives us some thrust as well. Is that from the vortexes? All right, hold on. Turn off, turn off, turn it 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 off. Turn it off. Yes. The vortexes activate the thrust. I just realized those aren't vortexes in here. That's actually the um, the wind turbines. So they suck the they suck the debris in, but they're not keeping it in. So it actually just kind of pushes it out the backside, as you can see. So it's coming in through the drills, getting chomped up by the drills, and then being expelled out the back. So let's see if we can see that as I go into this building. There we go. So yeah, it's getting in, chewed up by the drills, and then the debris just gets spit out the back. Look at all that debris getting spit out the back. We're like a wood chipper for buildings. That's literally what this thing is. It's a wood chipper for buildings. It's a building chipper. It's a concrete chipper. Oh, yes. So good. And there goes all the debris. Just a fine mist out the back. Such a cool looking creation. All right, which one of these creations was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find on the channel right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.